You're so not I'm giving him it. tanga eggs to fuck. I'm yeah, giving him it, prostate massagers. And I'm your getting, and your brother-in-law is saying, "Oh, I like those. I'll take those." And one time you saw me. What's going on over there? Well, they're expensive little eggs. Welcome to Sex Talk with my mom. I'm Cam Potter. And I'm Karen Lee Potter. That's my mother. And that's my son. We chat about sex on a weekly basis and all the things you typically don't talk about with a parent. We like to make the most uncomfortable conversations comfortable. So strap in, strap on, and enjoy the ride. Welcome to Sex Talk with my mom. I'm Cam Potter. And I'm Karen Lee Potter, his mother. My mother. We are, we are about to do something amazing. We are about to wrap up some 500-something episodes. When you mean wrap up, you mean we're going to take a little hiatus from recording on a weekly basis. We're doing our first hiatus. We did one hiatus before. It lasted two weeks. <laughs> okay. We're attempting to do a hiatus for two months. We'll see how it goes. Yes. And we'll see where we're at at the end of that. So don't cry because we have a lot, a lot of back episodes that we you can catch up on. We got a lot of back episodes. You haven't listened. To, most of you have not. Some of the sneaky freaks have listened to some, to all of them. Some of them are so fun, especially the ones we have guests. One year we had a year of just all comedians. So you guys should check that out. Check it out. But I'm, we're taking a little hiatus because I'm about to go to clown school. And if you're watching this on YouTube, you could see that he's wearing a red beret. Yes, that's with, correct. With something written on it. It's the clown school's in France. I'm trying to prepare for this French experience. And uh, there's some French written on it. What does it say, ma'am? J'adore coming. C-U-M-M-I-N-G. Now, you took French in high school? Yes, I did. So Honors what, French. What, what does this mean? I love coming. <laughs> it's true. You do. So, <laughs> it's true you love coming. I'm it's, so glad. I love coming too, but I don't walk around with red beret. That says that you love coming? Maybe now, you should. When you Let go the to, world know. When you go to France. Yes. Are you intending to pick up women wearing that hat? Oh, yeah. Uh, it, clowns. French clowns. Yes. Although I don't know if there's any French people that actually attend this school. I think it's pretty international. Well, it's people that love the same thing you love. Little clown, clown town. I told someone today that you are taking a hiatus to go to clown school. Yeah. She thought that was just just great, but what did, exactly do they do in clown school? I, I can't even tell you how many people have asked me, what are you hoping to get out of that? Why are you doing that? She told me that she thinks you're as good as Sebastian Maniscalco. It was very sweet. And that you should definitely, definitely do comedy. And I'm like, what do you think he does every week on this podcast? He's doing comedy. Well, I'm going. To, I'm studying with the master clown himself. And and there, to answer all of your sneaky freak questions, why am I doing this? It's because I enjoy this. This is of all the things in my life. I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to say it's better than the podcast. But I'm going to say going to clown class is one of my favorite things. All right, that's but all. I'll you're say. insinuating that no, you needed say, to I make didn't a choice. Insinuated shit. Okay. I just knew. That uh, it was going to be hard to balance both clown school work and this. Right. Them's fighting words if you're saying that the, you think clown school is better than this. I would never say podcast. that, mother. I would never say that. You know I would never say that. Well, as this is uh, our ultimate epi episode before the hiatus. Our farewell we episode. wanted We wanted to uh, have a question of the week that was a fitting for this one. Yeah. I, I dosed myself with some... <laughs> Steroids and T3. So you're ready to record? I'm ready to record. You guys, if I'm acting a little weird, it's because I'm on roids. And if I'm acting weird, it's because uh, that's just me. You're, no, you're, it's because you're taking some weird tea. Gen Maicha tea. Highly recommend. We should really get sponsored by a Gen Maicha, Maicha company. Okay. Here's the question of the week. Are you ready? Yes. Da -da 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 when it comes to the bedroom, do you identify as a Cam or a Karen Lee? Why and in what ways? Also, feel free to share your biggest takeaway from the show if you feel so inspired. That was a nice bonus question. It was. Yeah, I came up with this question. Uh, I the, give you full credit. Thank you. This this came to me uh, bright and early in the morning, the crack of dawn. I woke up, there was a squirrel on my roof, and I had the thought, you know, this could be a good question of the week. The squirrel inspired you. Well, waking up with this question inspired me. Isn't it amazing our brains do that? I love when I come up with this brilliant observation when I'm sleeping and I don't write it down and the next morning I have no clue what it was. How about when you write it down and you're like, well, why was I thinking that was ever brilliant? I know. It seems so much more brilliant in the middle of the night than it does in the, the clear day of morning. But I do think this is a, 
A brilliant question. All right, so let's go for it. Okay, so when it comes to the bedroom, do you identify as a Cam or a Karen Lee? Why and in what ways? Okay, so Mother, do you want to go first? Oh, put me on the spot. Well, I identify, obviously, as myself. Why? Because I'm me. <laughs> but how would you, how, what would that, what, I gotta how would you be describe honest, that? Reading, I read some of the comments ahead of time, which I normally don't do. I like to be surprised, but this, I just couldn't contain myself. I had to check, check it out. I was very touched by a lot of people saying that they they liked my confidence. You're confident. Well, you literally have identified, you have recoined the term cougar to mean confident, older, unique, genuine, assertive, racy woman. So I don't understand why. I love that you, you knew that. Are you fucking <laughs> kidding me? We've been doing this for eight years now. Eight. <laughs> someone In September recently, will be eight years. Someone recently said, did she make that up? Yes, I made that up. Who the fuck else is going to be saying that? That was a shit on. Well, I'm just saying, you're the original cougar. You Who who else is going to come I'm the with OG that? cougar. The OG. So, of course, I identify as Karen Lee because I am Karen Lee. Although, sometimes, when I'm not feeling so great. I'm not feeling very Karen Lee-like. Oh, are you suggesting you're more like Cam in that situation? I'm more like... What the fuck? I didn't mean I'm more like Cam. It sounds like it. Uh, when I'm feeling shitty, yeah, I identify more as a Cam. The fuck is that? I didn't mean it negatively. I mean, sometimes I get more introspective, like you get more. No way. Yes. Well, guess what? Most of the time, I identify as a Karen Lee. <laughs> no way. You do not. <laughs> you identify as me and, and not yourself. Well, I, I, I'm so you're... confident, sometimes older. I'm unique, definitely. I'm genuine. I'm assertive. You're definitely racy. And I'm racy. Yeah, you're, look at you, a door coming. So let, let's just say um, sometimes uh, we 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 break out of the boxes that people create for us. Yes. How about that? And sometimes I do feel a little like I should be more philosophical. What is that? Why is that the takeaway over here? <laughs> that you're the fun, confident one, and I'm the fucking philosophical one that makes you're people... You're the one who lo loves romance and focus. Romance and focus? Focus. What the fuck? Yeah, you like people to folk, you know, just to not be distracted. What like, the hell? Like you couldn't be with a woman that was very ADHD. Okay. All right. Well, let's see. What I don't the mean that as a negative. Do you, how, about the, how about the second part of this, which is feel free to share your biggest takeaway from the show. If you feel so inspired. Me? Yeah. You go first. Wow. Jeez. Oh, Eight years of doing this. My biggest takeaway, I think, oh man, I, I think it's just just to not give a fuck. The life is too short to to really, um, to care, to, to not speak openly about your own life experience. You know, if you're, if you are getting turned on by something, you like jerking <laughs> off to fucking, you know, bonobos or some shit. Bonobos, Share yeah. with the world. I mean, you don't need to necessarily act on it and go fuck a bonobo, but you, you shouldn't be ashamed, you know? I, and especially with people that are very close to you, you should be able to talk openly to one another and not give a fuck. Yeah, I th I'd love that feeling of yeah. It's a, it's a that, freeing that freedom. Theory. Yeah. So what what about you? What's your greatest takeaway? Same thing. Mom. What? You can't use it. Okay. My greatest takeaway you gone from first doing the podcast. Do that shit. <laughs> the podcast has gotten it got the goofy side of me going. Is that right? Yeah. You weren't goofy before the podcast? I got much more open and goofier when I started doing the podcast. I think it's more of age. Or I turned a certain age and yeah. I don't give it for rat's ass anymore. That's right. Then, then why are you asking me why? I was trying to tell you what my answer was okay. to that question. Do you think that's accurate? Yeah. Okay. I, I think age, I'll is, let you take age is part Fine. of it. Yeah, she, I, did, I did tend to get to a point where I didn't give a shit about if I'm wearing a bra or underpants. <laughs> But no, I mean, I was even thinking of like explaining a story um, and whether or not I wanted to share it with you because it happened recently. Uh. And then I thought, what do I give a shit? He knows I have sex with my boyfriend. Who gives a fuck? Okay. Is that today that we're going to hear that? <laughs> Are we hearing that today? Is that a precursor? No, it's not a precursor. What the fuck is going on? It could be a precursor if I decided to share with you and our little videographer. Our, our wonderful videographer, Joseph, over here. Thank you, Joseph, for all the, the years of hard work over here. He saluted me just now. Or you. Maybe. Do, Both who of did us. you salute? It's a, it's a double salute. They oh, my God. <laughs> it was a goofy face. face that salute. 
So shall we shall we go on to the sneaky freak uh, I think, answers to I this think question? We gotta hear. Okay, just to refresh you guys, if you want to stay in touch with us, give us a text at 310-356-3920. This is a good time to stay in touch, given that uh, we're going on hiatus. You won't be able to hear us, so you might as well text us. Yeah, I can't guarantee we'll be able to answer every text, but I will try. Oh, okay. Ready? This is from RH, a 47-year-old male. He says, I am definitely a cam when I want to hook up, and I'm still a deer in headlights. What the fuck is that? What is that? <laughs> I want to hook up, but I'm still a deer in headlights? What, what do people think is going on when I'm in the bedroom? I'm just I looking around like, oh my God, what is happening right now? And coming all over the place. And coming all over the place? Yes. That's the vibe I'm giving <laughs> That's off? That's the vibe you've told people over the Wrong. years. Wrong. Uh, I've told people I'm a smooth cr- criminal. They I know, know you're that. a smooth criminal. They should know that well, when apparently you, you watch age... me in the bedroom, it's like a porno. Oh, it's a porno. It goes so smoothly. It's so smooth. <laughs> Everyone's just getting off and moaning and squ- squirting everywhere. So what? why did you take offense when you said that? I'm still a deer in headlights. Meaning that he's just being shocked. He's surprised. Surprised. Yeah, it doesn't mean it's not bad. It's just he he finds it to be surprising when he's in the bedroom. He doesn't have a specific, you know, (sighs) type of. Okay, never mind. Go on. RH then says best part of this past season is learning that sex can be a funny topic and not so taboo as long as you talk about it like, like, with like-minded and curious people. I love that. I, that's what I was going to say. It's a funny topic. It's a it, human topic. Well, you brought out the humor and the sex part and the play part. Why? Because I'm a deer in the headlights? You're a deer in the... <laughs> Why do you keep focusing on the negative? Mom, what, okay, let me ask you something. If someone described, looked at your sex life after eight years of t- describing it and then said, you know what, that person fucks like a deer in headlights... Not even fucks. I, only wants to fuck. Only wants to fuck. That you would be offended. I would not be offended. There's no offense taken. It's just that you're 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 still learning. I'm not. You're learning. <laughs> I'm not learning. You're learning. <laughs> Truthfully, you've learned a lot over the years. I got. The, who's wearing the hat that says Jador coming? I know. I learned. Would you, I would like you to have, come. Would you have? He will learn that you like to come. Yep. Yeah, well, you're not as concerned about coming too soon like you used to be. Why are you bring that up? I'm just saying that you, that you don't seem to be, that's not a problem anymore. It is definitely a problem. I just haven't hooked up with enough people recently to... Okay, let's move on. Okay. Mr. Bean weighed in over here. Oh, what did Mr. Bean, who likes to stick pop, rock, pop rocks, pop rocks, pop rocks, up his anus, I have to say? He said, Karen, I'm a Karen because... I want to try new things and rock my world. Oh, that's so sweet, that's Mr. Very Bean. very sweet, Bean Brain. Wait, why, why does he think you don't like to try new things to rock your world? Also, I, I thanked him for this text, and then he wrote back, You're welcome, Bull Hunk. Bull Hunk? <laughs> yes. Why hunk. am I Bull Hunk? <laughs> uh, he, you like to uh, rock your world, I guess. When I do, I, I believe in quality sex, not quantity. And so would you say your world is rocked with your sex? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I just burned my whole esophagus with my Gen Mitra. Do I think that my world is rocked? Wait, so I'm drinking tea, so now you have to, you have to remind <laughs> yourself to go drink? <laughs> should we move on to Ciara? Yes, we should. Ciara says, I identify more as a cam. I'm willing to try anything for the sake of the experience and enjoy making others laugh. I also don't shy away from talking openly about what my partner likes or wants. Is oh, that fucking Ciara. I love this response. Now, is she saying I don't do those things? I think that. I, I, I mean, she didn't say that you're not doing them, but she uh, identified that as related to me and not you. So, yeah, you know. So people are beginning to see that your smooth criminal comes out. I like that she thinks that I'm try anything for the sake of experience. I, do you think I push myself? Yeah. Have you ever yeah. had an orgy? Have you ever had an orgy? No, but I wanted to. Okay. Well, guess who? I've been to play parties and you haven't. I've seen people fucking. <laughs> <laughs> That's great, mother. You also do enjoy making other people's laugh. Other people laugh. I do. It's an extreme compliment that she gave you there. It, and you, do, you don't shy away from talking openly about what, you, makes you, what your partner likes and wants. Right? 
Um, you don't give a fuck. Don't give a fuck. What? You don't give no, a fuck. No, no, I do. Of course, course I of course, course it matters what he likes. How often are you guys talking about what you like or want? Like pretty much every time. Really? Yeah. Well, we'll add a little. That's what I was going to say in my little ma, what I'm doing lately. Oh, God. we just added a new position recently. Are After we going all there now? these years, no, I just thought I'd share that. Okay, what's the That's position it. now? It's like on a on a sideways, so it requires less energy in my put. <laughs> oh, I've heard that. I've heard that's a uh, it's a good position actually. For, yeah, it was a very good position. Like for, a spooning position. A spooning position. Yeah. That's great. I'm glad that you're exploring still. Ah! Look at you, your body changes, and you yeah you change with it. I go with the flow. That's me. It opens up new doors. Go with the Look flow, Karen Lee. Go with the flow, Karen Lee. That's right. Crystal says, I'm definitely a Karen Lee. I've been 28 for many, many years. There you go. And I'm very adventurous in the bedroom. I also like keeping it spicy and trying new things. Thank you. Love it. Stay young. Forever young. Forever young. Tracy says, I feel like I'm a mix of Cam and Karen Lee. Sometimes I want that love and connection. Other times I want to fuck it out. Well, wait a second. So are you the love and connection and me the fuck it out or vice versa? That's definitely what's implied here. Okay. Uh, have you ever read Sex with Love and Connection? No, I did not read that. I would not waste my time with that. <laughs> you would never waste your time with love and connection? No. That's always it sounds, fucking it up. That just sounds boring to me. Oh, my fucking God. Did you read that book multiple times? It's not a book. What is it? She's saying sometimes I want that love and connection. Other what? times I just want to fuck it out. I thought you said, did you read the book Love and Connection? No, I said, do you identify with having sex with love and connection? And you said, <laughs> no, I never. Why would the fuck? Would, it sounds boring. <laughs> I I do stand by my word. It does sound a little boring. You, and no, you've never no. had sex with love and connection. I have plenty of sex with love and connection. Oh yeah, you plenty. Of sex I just with love didn't. I was. I was thinking that would be a good title for a book, though. <laughs> what? Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> you jumped to a book. You made up a whole book in your mind with this one. Love and connection. Oh it would god. be on your. I can see it being it's on like your nightstand. Pride stand. and Prejudice. Love and connection. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Uh, Tracy goes on to say, Cam, hope you have an amazing time in France. Thank you very much, Tracy. Karen Lee, I hope you enjoy your summer. Oh. Do you have summer plans? Well, what are you going to do when I'm gone? Oh, I have a lot of plans, Cam. Oh, yeah? Yeah. What's going on in your summer? <laughs> I got nothing going on. No. No, I got some surgeries. You're getting surgeries? Eye surgery. Why are you always getting surgeries? I'm always getting surgeries. Unbelievable. This one's going to give me new lenses in my old eyes. That, you know, that would have been helpful because you have always had trouble reading this paper in here. That's right. All right. Well, uh, Tracy goes fun? on. You guys will be missed. Can't wait until you guys come back from hiatus. Well, we'll miss you, Tracy. Oh, we're going to miss you too, Tracy. Cassie says, I say I'm more of a Karen Lee. I enjoy Woo! having some wine or weed. I am with my long-term partner and we have to get creative sometimes to keep the magic alive. And I do enjoy a night as a pillow princess, even though I also keep my man happy too, of course. The biggest takeaway from the show so far, this better not be the end, is to talk about sex. Communication is key and you can't grow without listening and talking if you need inspiration out of your romantic life. You have to talk about it. Thank you all for the inspiration. Mom is making the heart the hand gesture. Probably not even doing a, an accurate way of doing no, it. No, it's not that it accurate. Not it accurate. looked more like a little, um, like two circles. But that is <laughs> beautiful. That was beautiful. It was so beautiful, Cassie. Thank, Thank you, you very much for this response. Um, so how how do you, I, do you. Um, Am I happy you, about that? Yeah. How do you feel about her saying that you spice it up with wine or weed? That is accurate. And uh, and um, occasionally the pillow princess. Yeah. But I agree with her that I still make sure that my man's having a good time too. Oh, I love that communication is key and you can't grow without listening and talking. Of course you do. Why? Of course I do. Communication it's... is key. Okay. It's another new book. Mom, what are you making a whole library over here? What's going on? Aaron says, I identify with Cam in as much as I... Pro is I prioritize a personal relationship with a partner before I could confidently pursue a sexual connection, but I don't share his borderline paranoid concerns about health risks. <laughs> what the fuck is that? What is that? Wait, borderline paranoid? 
concerns. He did get borderline paranoid, question mark, concerns about health risks. Oh, so he's not saying you are borderline paranoid. He didn't need to mention that. Well, you are concerned about that. Yeah, but it, borderline, I, I actually would identify as borderline paranoid about the health risks. I, 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 oh God, I, I went down a rabbit hole the other day. Why? Reading, you know, because I was gifted those XL condoms. So I started oh. reading the, the well, instructions. Well, you're acting like people know what you're talking about. I was gifted some XL condoms, which obviously are very useful to me. So I was reading the, the instructions around it. <clears throat> the pull-out method leads to like, I don't even want to say, it, it's a very, it's a, it's actually more effective than I anticipated, than I thought, according oh, to this, good. So like, why? this little diagram. So you pull out instead of coming it's within. It's pretty on par. Maybe it's a little better to use a condom, but not by much. I was shocked. Does that mean you're going to go bareback? No, it made me more concerned about wearing condoms. You, wait, well, I'm out. I'm ah. getting, the pullout? <laughs> the fact that pullout is not that much worse than wearing a condom. Maybe they're just trying to say to you that the pullout is more effective than we thought. I'm pulling out. I'm wearing a condom. I'm not coming, letting the jizz come out of my dick anywhere near a vulva. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for sharing that. <laughs> the jizz coming out of your dick will stay inside you. Aaron says, I identify with Karen Lee's playful, enthusiastic sex positivity. Ooh, 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 ooh. My main takeaway from sex talk with my mom is that open, honest discussions about our sex lives is positive, deepens understanding and compassion, and doesn't have to be shameful, creepy, or inappropriate. I wish everyone could share as openly as Cam and Karen Lee. It would make the world a ha better, happier, and more connected place. Thank oh. you for all the great work. Love you too. Another heart. A little heart in the form. This it looks a little better. It that's a little it's like a it's like a lopsided B. <laughs> <laughs> Sideways B. Thank you, Aaron. That is extremely sweet. I'm if that was if we affected one person like this, I it know. makes the whole thing worthwhile. When Phenomenal. I, when I hear these things, it gives me what's known as nachas. I know you're going with Yiddish with this. Nachas means like good feelings in Yiddish. Good feelings. Thank you, Aaron, for the good vibes. I otherwise call it warm fuzzies. The warm fuzzies. Yeah. Tim says, I would say more like a Karen Lee. There you go, Tim. She, she knows what she likes in the bedroom and then goes and gets it done. Cam knows what he wants and then just talks about it on a podcast <laughs> instead of actually doing it. <laughs> Fuck. What? Thank you, Tim. What the fuck is that? I don't. Tim, I, you don't know what <laughs> you don't know what's going on in my personal life. You don't know. I might be. You. I might be out there getting exactly what I want. You don't know. You don't know, Tim. Maybe this is a good thing to, for us to do this right now because he's pushing me out the fucking. You're, yeah, basically, nest these, of yes, safety. Yes, you're in the nest. You're I'm a little, in the nest. You're a little albatross. I, here you go. I, here okay. I go. Oh, there. We're on the way here. I'm driving. It, by the way, if you guys didn't know, I pick up my mother and drive her every time we record this fucking It's podcast. like driving Miss Daisy. I pick her up. She gets in the car. We're ha trying to have a some wait. somewhat of a conversation. No, and then wait. Today, no. she starts going. She starts. I can't get the albatross out of my mind. I th what, I, you're losing it. Okay. What albatross? Okay. First of all, the music you play in the car is horrible. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me. It's always from like a different country. Are you fucking kidding me? You're cr criticizing my DJing? I drive you every goddamn week. I appreciate that you drive me, but the music has got something to be desired. I but pick anyway. your ass up in the difficult parking lot. I'm sorry. I schlep you all the way over here. It's very. It's not like we live that close. This is. It would be much closer to, for me to go direct. Excuse me. And you now you complain about my my. What are you going to complain music. about my my driving next? No, your driving is actually very good, especially your parking. But thank you. I brought up the albatross because I couldn't get it out of my mind. Why? Why? What's with you and the albatross? I saw one of these Planet Earth Part Two or whatever, and they go through the whole poor life cycle of an albatross. <laughs> why? Now you got me forgetting why I even brought up the albatross. You didn't have a reason to bring up the albatross. Oh yeah, that's the why. It's, I was thinking about the albatross and how difficult a life that a poor albatross has. And it doesn't help that we're, you know, making the environment deadly for them. Okay. Thank you for the albatross talk with my mother. That was very nice. <laughs> thank you for, for the uh, PSA just now. Uh, can we move on to L from Las Vegas? Yes. Thank you, Tim, by the way. Yeah, Tim. For that very sweet comment about 
just talks about it instead of, on a podcast getting it done. Maybe this is oh, that's what we were talking about the albatross and the nest. That's where we got, I got uh, that. Here we go. All right, it, we, Tim, we're pushing a little bird out of the nest. Okay, into France. Hopefully, he will be getting laid and coming all the time. What? <laughs> Last time I went, I went to South America. You're like. Just you're you're always coming everywhere. Just be very careful. You made me so fucking paranoid. Now you're saying, "Oh no, get pushed out of the nest. Go fuck fuck any." Wait, I made you paranoid. And then D's is going, "Oh, get that French pussy." <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> he goes, "You could get so much French pussy." You could. What's you, going you on? Walk, you walk around with the beret. Jador coming. You think that's gonna work? Yes. With my stupid American accent. I have to teach you a little French. Okay. Um, you already talked. Où est la bibliothèque? Okay. We're not doing this right now. Where it's is the of, library? Uh, all right. Okay. L from Las Vegas says, Hi, friends. I'm a 50-50 split between Cam and Karen Lee, and here's why. Oh. Karen Lee, I'm a 42-year-old. I'm a, I'm 42 and attracted to younger men 100% of the time. Oh, yeah. Cougar. I've wow. tried dating men my age, and they can't keep up. They have a poor diet or immature and are already set in their ways. Sounds like you. I have definitely found that to be true when I was in the dating scene. Also, younger men's dicks work. This is a little dig at the men, the older men. <laughs> yeah, apparently the older men don't work. So I can relate to having seen a lot of peen and been wiser because of it. Karen, you are beautiful and inspiring. Who is this again? L from Vegas. Thank you, L. I appreciate that. <clears throat> I'm also Cam because I'm a theater nerd. Are you a theater nerd? Well, I'm going to clown school in I France guess that's for a month. Yeah, yeah. And then a theater festival afterwards for a month. So that would be, qualify you as a theater nerd. Thank you. And what turns me... Why can't I could just be someone uh, into theater? Or a clown? A theater nerd? I think nerd is now a positive Yeah? Word. Yeah, it's, it's switched from when I was growing up to being... Nerd. Yeah. Yeah. Now it's like, it's cool to be a nerd. Okay, thank you. Thank you for reframe. Okay, uh... L goes on to say, and what turns me on is people who love to act, sing, rap, and be creative. Nothing better than a guy who is in touch with his vulnerable side, and it makes me horny as hell. Oh! I'm also slightly neurotic about things. My diet, yoga, being active, and it's still all such a new journey for me, dating and sex. I pick my partners, too, carefully. This leads to not getting as much sex as others. Okay, so... She does sound more like you than me. That's very much like me, right? Yeah. Being a little too picky. Cam, you are a smart, funny man, and those two elements will always be the key to unlocking my sexual desire. I'm unlocking Elle from Vegas's sexual desire, oh mother. Oh, boy, Cam. Oh, my fucking God. Did you want this to, so you can pick up women? This is exactly what I was hoping for with this question. Just kidding. But thank you, Elle. She goes on to say, thanks and have a great hiatus. Looking forward to how great the show will be when you get back. Love, Elle from Vegas. Thank well, you, Elle. I think we are going to take some of the notes <clears throat> that we're getting now and incorporating them in the new season. Like what? Just. <laughs> oh, where are you going with this shit? No, we're just going to take some notes that okay. what what people liked more than other. You know, they like they definitely like me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> Okay, a little less of me, a little more of you. No, that's not what they were saying. It seems like it's 50-50 split. Uh, Jay says, sex for me is I'm a KLP. Don't worry, get happy. Always up to try a new thing. Share what works for you. Use weed to unlock more sensory information. Well, that, I got to be honest, that's the truth. Th- th- what do you mean that's the truth? Weed does unlock some... Sensory information? Sensory information. Does it get you completely paranoid? No, why would it do that? Because sometimes it does it. The biggest takeaway for Jay is share what works. Some 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 share uplifting wisdom. Some share uplifting wisdom. Are you saying that you? I, I literally have a segment on the show called Cam's Uppers. Oh, that's what they're talking about. It's uplifting wisdom. Okay. What, what do you? What, what else? Where I else thought, on the show I do we share uplifting was, wisdom? He was talking about me. In what ways have you shared uplifting wisdom? Uplifting about sex wisdom, obviously. Okay. Some share lube samples and sex toys. <laughs> That's you. What? That's you. You are the one who he gave. Says, Some share uplifting wisdom. Others share lube samples and sex toys. I did. I I did share a lot of lube. Yeah. By the way, people are asking more and more about Uber Lube. Well, Uber Lube to save the day. Use code Sneaky. How does my beret look right now? 
I actually think it looks pretty damn good. Because it's, before it was squeezing the shit out of my head, so now it's kind of just sitting on well, top of my Well, you can't see the, the writing should they're coming. Okay, well then I'll just stick with the red. Moot, you were very generous last night. You gave my sister an Athena Club razor. I did because I had one and I thought she could use one. It's like an elegant perfection in a razor. <laughs> it really, it, it's it's truly a beautiful instrument. You do, It doesn't get sticky when you put it against the wall. Well, it has a magnetic hook to help it stay there. Yeah, that's what I love about it. For shower storage. It doesn't get goopy after a few uses. It's really sharp. It, it, you don't have those razor bumps that you get on other, other shavers. I love this. It's designed with built-in skin guards to help prevent razor burn while being gentle on your curves. Did you know that? I knew that, and it's surrounded by water-activated serum with shea butter and hyaluronic acid, which is the holy grail. It's the holy grail for skincare. Ah, so it doesn't feel like you're about destroying your skin when you're shaving. This is a beautiful instrument. And the best part is the razor kit is only ten dollars. That's a good deal. Huge. And it comes with two blade heads, a magnetic hook for shower storage, and your choice of handle color. And with Athena Club, you never have to think about blade refills because you choose how often you want your replacement blades shipped to you. I also like their shaving foam. Oh. It's silky finish. You know, you can use it on all parts of your body. Face? I don't use it on my face, Cam. Your legs? Legs. Armpits? Armpits. Nethers? Nethers. Switch to the better razor and show your skin you care with Athena Club. Get started today by shopping in-store at Target stores nationwide. Just head to the shaving aisle to find the razor kit, cloud shave foam, wax strips, and razor refills. Cam, can you tell me a little bit about jerkmate.com? Jerkmate.com is one of my favorite websites. It's right up there with Google, <laughs> Gmail, and sex sex talk talk with my mom. Mom. Com. Yeah. <laughs> At jerkmate.com, you can talk to real live models. I'm talking babes. 24-7, okay? Look at you, you smooth criminal. Yeah. And guess what? If you're bored of porn, which you know, you guys know I am, this is a very fun way to liven your sex life if you don't have a partner. Because or it's you, interactive. Even if you do have a partner, you can, you can maybe do this together. It, oh, it's a cam model situation. Right. Did I explain that? No. You're, you're connecting cam to cam. Like cam, cam, to cam, cam on cam, cam to cam. You're watching someone in real time you know, do a sexy dance, strip, fuck, whatever you want, you know, whatever you want. You could even, you can go into private rooms with them and have your own personal experience with them. Yeah, they have features like private chats, spinning the wheel, choosing actions from gold menus and attending gold shows. It's a fun time. Have you attended a gold show yet? I've never attended a gold show, but I would like to. It's like walking into the best strip club. You can choose from hundreds of categories, which I'm sure Orgy is one of those, and tags to find your next playmate. Playmates of who are men, women, trans people, or couples. And what what more could you ask for? Are you ready to experience a new kind of grown-up fun in the most welcoming cam community? Go to jerkmate.com, sign up for free using promo code SEXTALK10, that's SEXTALK10, all one word, and get 10 free gold for your first naughty adventures on Jerkmate. You must be 18 and over to join jerkmate.com that link is in the episode's description okay uh hammy responded to our question about who she uh, this person ident- it could be he she they I right don't know. we're not sure uh they said uh just no no they don't identify with either of us oh okay well uh well uh hammy uh good luck tjc says honestly i would have to say that i identify as karen lee for sh- for sure Cam is awesome. I love him to life, but Karen matches my energy. I believe that Karen is more apt to try anything as long as it's pleasurable and would consider all aspects of a request before denying it. Excuse me. You don't think I would do that shit? (laughs) Most mature women want to be loved, secured, and desired. With those three elements provided would set the stage for fun times to be had in the bedroom for sure. Love you guys. Have fun and be safe. Thank you, TJ. TJ, (laughs) you nailed it. Are those the three that you like? I like the themes that are occurring here. What's it? What are the themes over here? Have fun, smoke weed, yeah, and en- enjoy life. Yeah, and don't give a shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> what? There's also this other underlying theme of like uh, 
you know, Cam doesn't really enjoy life, try new things. No, no, no. That's not what they're saying. They yeah. say that you're just a little more introspective. No one has ever, no one has mentioned the word introspective. I'm just globalizing the qualities that yeah. people are bring, bringing up. Is, I think this has turned on to a hit, hit on or shit on. No, it is not. It, it really has. This was your idea. You came up with this question. I thought I, it was getting good res responses and this is only, garbage over here. You're only here. looking at the negativity. There I did. There was someone. A lot of people that said yeah, that they identified. L from with Vegas them. was kind of hitting on me. That was nice. <laughs> we can go back to that. Emma says, Emma says, pillow princes unite. That's you. Love. She got the heart, Emma. She's getting better at the heart. Carlos says, Hey guys, I would like to say I really do love the show and have been listening since day one. Thank you, Carlos. I, I love it. When people say they've been listening since day one, it just it just warms the cockles of my heart. With that said, I uh -oh. also would like to say that in the beginning, you guys talked about sex and other stuff, but now it seems like you guys are having a hard time finding topics to talk about. Like a few weeks back, I think the question was poop or pee stories. I mean, really? I think this time <laughs> away will do good. Will do you guys good and maybe get you refreshed and thinking about sex again. Thank you for your time. See you on the flip side. Now, who is this? Carlos. Carlos. Yeah. Carlos. Carlos is a little upset with you with your pee and poop okay. question. Okay, Carlos. This is also a. It's not just a sex show. It's not a sex show at all. I know. It's not. It sounds like we have sex on the show. I, I mean, it's not just talking about sex. A sex talk show? It's not just about a sex talk show. There's plenty of those out there, as yeah. we know, and they're all very good. But we offer a little other side. We the are multifaceted humans. Right. And we like the humor of, of things that go on in our bodies. You think that we are only interested in bodily functions like sex, but no, we're we, also interested in pooping and peeing stories. And apparently they that was one of the funniest episodes I've ever heard. I think you, we were, you enjoyed that one? Yes, because we we were talking about every type of excrement that you can come up with. <laughs> and excrement is funny. So it is funny. So Carlos Carlos We're gonna have to uh say thank you, but no thank you. But <laughs> but thank you for listening since day one. I'm glad you're still with us. And don't worry, we'll still talk about boring sex. ass sex. Also, I do appreciate Carlos's uh text. He he really sends us some very uh, graphic texts about his sex life, which is nice. Really? Yeah, he does. I'm glad to He's hear He's open. That. Chris says, uh, definitely Cam. Oh, there you go. I come quick. Oh, oh, there you go. <laughs> I'm glad that you found a kindred <laughs> spirit, Chris. Uh, Liz uh, says, Cam. okay, no, we're moving on. Okay. We're not, I'm, not ident I'm not identifying with that. I don't think you should I'm because that, 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 cycle. That, that was an old thing that you don't do anymore. Yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah, I oh do. You told me not to bring that up anymore. It went, well, you fucking have brought it up multiple times today, but also it went. the issue went away for a while. But now that I've gotten out of the routine of having sex or hooking up, now it's, I need to regain stamina. You're going to regain stamina. As soon as you have that French... That fr French... <laughs> I was going to say... Um, Pousse. Pousse? Pousse. Pousse. As soon as you get a little pousse. French pousse, you're going to be a French new man. Pousse. Or a little beignet. Bin, bin, uh, beignet? Beignet. What are you, pousse and beignet? <laughs> Is that... Have a little pousse with my beignet? Yeah. Mom. Oh, my God. You're out of control. All right. Ready for Liz? Yes. Liz says, I think I'm a hybrid. I identify with the mindful, conscious connection Cam often seems to prefer. So is that a, is that a shit on to me that I'm not mindful and conscious? And, and You're and unconscious. And, and <laughs> I am pretty unconscious. Completely on weed and obliterated. As well as his open-minded curiosity about pleasure and trying new things. So, so, okay. So now I have two people saying that I like to try new things and one person saying I don't like to try new things. So. I like to try new things. I'm glad. Uh, Liz goes on to say, but Karen Lee's confidence in going in, going in, going after what she wants in and out of the bedroom. You that so they nailed it. Sounds like you're you really are preaching 
some some message over there. Seems to be a common thread. People think you're confident or, or preach confidence at the Do least. You know, ironically, what I did? Oh, God. Put out a video on my TikTok about confidence being the most attractive trait. Why is that ironic? It's the theme it's of today. It's coincidental. It's coincidental. Yeah, ironic it? would mean we don't expect you to do that. Isn't it ironic? It's it's not ironic. We expect you definitely <laughs> to put out a video about you and confidence. I think confidence is king. <sighs> All right, let's go on to Liz. Oh, well, Liz said you you both are the best. Love you, and we will miss you both. We'll miss you so much. It feels we'll good you, to be missed. Liz. It feels good to be missed? Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling like they're missing us already. Oh. But don't worry. Don't worry. We'll be back. Lisa says, although I don't appreciate your hiatus, <laughs> I'll answer. Although I'm now a full-fledged Karen in the bedroom... Oh, Karen Lee, not Karen. You don't want to be Karen. Comfortable, confident, and know what I like. This is very much what you're doing. Lisa usually gets me, or I get yeah, Lisa. you guys are on the same page. Yeah. I do relate to Cam in that oh. I was a late bloomer and need an emotional connection <laughs> to go there. What the fuck is it? I get so excited I relate to Cam. I'm a late bloomer. I never identified as a late bloomer. This is outrageous. <laughs> what the fuck is going on here? A You're late bloomer, the, quick coming, deer in headlights, actually, doesn't know what the fuck is going on, doesn't go for what he wants. I mean, considering the fact you've had a, quite a few... <laughs> fucking Joseph's you, laughing over you've here. Had, you've, had a, you've had a few partners this year in the last couple of years. A few partners in yeah. the last couple of years? Yeah. So I don't know if that's so accurate. You're not like that late of a... I guess, you know, yeah, maybe you're late in the blooming in the sense that you haven't had a ton of experience. All right. Let's just keep moving on. Do you remember when we were interviewed on the stage of the pickup artist? Yes. And they asked you how many people you had sex with and you decided to lie? Yeah. What did I say, 15? You said 19. I did? Which is a random number. Like, why didn't you just say 20? I also have no idea how many partners I've had. How do you not have? I, I, I Zero clue. It's like my mantra when I go to bed. If I can't sleep, I just go, th- go through. count through the, the partners? Yeah. Wow. I've lost count. There you see, that's why you are the smooth criminal. I'm an older stud. Just a wild buck out here. You're just a wild buck? Yes. <laughs> With a red beret. Uh, Lisa goes on to say, my biggest takeaways from the show is laugh and have fun. Good. Love it. Love it. Don't be a hypochondriac. That's Don't love it. I like to be a hypochondriac. Smoke a little weed. Listen love to good it. music. I love it. Enjoy and freely talk about sex. Most importantly, don't give two fucks. Or a rat's ass. <laughs> Thank you, Lisa. Lisa. Phenomenal. We have some great sneaky freaks. I love, I love our sneaky If freaks. you guys, for whatever reason, is, are listening to this episode for the first time, know that when you're a listener of our episode, you are an honorary sneaky freak. Mm-hmm. We got more responses. Unfortunately, we can't read them all. But I would like to read one from Joseph, who said, I identify as Karen Lee. Cam is an inhibited, uptight little bitch. <laughs> Joseph, that was not very nice. Joseph. Was that you, Joseph? No, you was not you. No, it wasn't him. Joseph, listen, no one asked you to listen to this fucking podcast, okay? If you think I'm such an uptight, inhibited little bitch, go check out a different podcast. Why does he think that? I don't know, but why does he need to share that with me? Oh, okay. That why was does he a, need to that text was, that to me? That was a shit on. When do you ever text someone? You, I'm not, you're, you're an uptight, you're an inhibited, uptight little bitch. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> fuck you, Joseph. I'm just going to say it. Fuck you, Joseph. The fuck is that? He's not an inhibited, uptight little bitch. Absolutely not. I'm a smooth criminal. We've established that. <laughs> fucking done. <laughs> Thank you for all of your responses. We're going to miss most of you when we go on hiatus. <laughs> Apparently not Joseph. Not Joseph. Joseph likes what I have to Inhibited, say. Inhibited, uptight little bitch. <laughs> Fuck you. Why would he say something like that? I don't know. All right. It was outrageous. I couldn't, when, I, when that came in, I was, my mind was blown. I was yeah. like, how did this person re- actually, could, what brought, how could you feel there comfortable was, texting that to someone? I think he's a little jealous. Oh, he's a little jealous. He yes. wants to have a sex talk with his own mom. Yes, he does. Yeah. He wants to have a podcast where he talks about sex with his mom and, you know, 
So now, anything that I say for the rest of this episode now is going to have to go fly in the face of Joseph. I think we need to stick to what we've... Inhibited up well, What have we taught you throughout the last eight years? Don't, Don't give, give a, a fuck. fuck. Or a rat's ass. So who cares? There's a couple... Of okay, who cares? Well, I'm going to well, text you your intimidated well, up When we get on bitch. hit on our shit, you're going to find some nasty <laughs> shit that people t- texted me. I don't give a rat's ass so that people text me like that. Okay. All right. Thank you all for your compliments and some shit ons. Well, let's focus on the positives. Why Most, wasn't that a hit on or shit on? That was that was a false. It was a big shit on. It was a shit on. Definitely a hit on to you, shit on to me. Yep. Thank you all. Uh please text us 310-356-3920. If your name is not Joseph. <laughs> this particular Joseph. Okay. Um, we really appreciate all of your your responses. It really adding that segment of the show this year was like one of my favorite things that we did. It might have been last year that we actually added because it. we can connect with people and we yeah. find out what's on their mind, what they like, what they don't like, and we feel connected to you. Oh, what is wrong with you? The way that you said that was outrageous. Is it, we, we feel connected to you. We feel we can connect with people. We like to connect. We like to connect. What do you want? I'm on roids. <laughs> Mother. Yes. The other day, my friend was telling me about the ways that she enhances her sex life. She says one of the key ways is that she pays for Dipsy. Dipsy. Dipsy Stories is an app full of hundreds of short, sexy audio stories designed by women for women. And I'm telling you, this turned her right on, got her right in the mood, helps with her own self-pleasure. I love it. I love that they bring scenarios to life with immersive soundscapes and realistic characters, not just someone reading out of a book. We're talking discover the stories about second chance romances, adventurous vacation flings, and hot and heavy hookups. I want to play a little clip. How about that? That's what I was going to ask. This is called You Again. It's her and her. Ooh. Moving from friends to lovers, crush, romantic, flirty. Turn it on. My body hummed as she dragged her fingers down my thigh. The hum pulsed through me with each lazy circle she made. She responded to my heavy breathing with a small smile. Her hands moved closer to the inside of my leg. Okay, I'm getting a big picture here. Okay. I, I see it perfectly. Uh, all right, Kim. I'm seeing hands move towards legs. Uh, it's I, getting all hot and bothered. I'm glad you are getting hot and bothered. You are not going to get bored with Dipsy. New content is released every week. So in between listening to your favorite stories again and again, you can always find something new to explore, you sneaky freak. For listeners of the show, Dipsy is offering an extended 30-day free trial when you go to dipsystories.com slash mom. That's 30 days of full access for free when you go to D-I-P-S-E-A stories dot com slash mom. Dipsy stories dot com slash mom. Free. Free, baby. Three, 30 days for free. The link is in the episode's description. All right. So what's going on in your life, mother? I was going to ask you that. I, I'm going to sound like an inhibited, uptight little bitch. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, we don't, we, I don't know why I did this. What? Honestly... You have to be yourself. All right. And if it means that some people are going to criticize you, so be it. Oh, God. I'm I little... think most people appreciate your honesty because most people are not as honest about themselves as we are here. I just caught my, a glimpse of myself on camera. and <laughs> I, I, You look like an uptight little bitch with a red I, beret. I, it reminded myself of my mime teacher who is this like older man, older bald man who wears berets. Joseph, why do you have to put that big screen on there up there? I don't oh, love this look. God, it's, it's cute. <laughs> it's cute. I I think I'm gonna become a, a fucking clown or mime teacher one day, and it freaks me the fuck out. Okay, I love my mime teacher, but why do you? Know, why do you? He feel actually like... is a wonderful girlfriend, sweetheart. Well, well, where is this going? I just got to. I I was like, I just saw myself fifty years from now. Maybe, well, maybe the good he's, thing he's is maybe twenty years older than me. The good thing is you have hair. Thank you, mother. By that time, I probably will not. Knock on wood. Anyway, can I? Can we get to my life? What? What? The Why hell? do you think one day you're going to be a mime teacher? This I just, is, I, I, this I, I just saw my, I a, a flash of my future just fl- f- came into focus. And you're going to be when a mime I saw teacher. myself with the mime, with mime hat, with the beret. And if you did become a professional mime clown teacher, what? What do you think? 
I will never get laid again? No, you probably will. You think I'll get laid more or less if I become a mime teacher? Um, I, I, the mime part? No. So what part? Maybe the clown. Because you'll, you'll the clown. You think the clown gets laid more than the mime? I don't know if it's against the student rules. To student fuck? Yeah, it is. Professor. Yeah, it's, you can't yeah. fuck the kids. All right, so no. Can't yep. fuck the kids. Listen well, you're going to have students. You're not going to fuck them. Oh, yeah. What the hell? No, I'm a teacher. You're a professor. <laughs> but maybe, but maybe, maybe I put, I start becoming a touring mime and I just go from city to city and just these women are fawning over me. With I my think that's what's going to happen. It's going to start in my, Paris. My wall, the wall that I can build, the invisible wall. I got to be honest, Cam. I, I don't find clowns sexy. I don't give a fuck if you find clowns <laughs> sexy. I mean, I could We're find... not talking traditional clown, by the way, like Bozo the Clown. I don't find mime sexy at all. Okay, well, we are talking about traditional mimes. Okay, <laughs> let's move on. Um, okay. So what is happening in your life besides... Like, I think you're right. About? So, I don't know... I Wait. What? <laughs> I never, ever hear, I think you're right. I, I you're never right. get that, ever. So I I'm just not wanna, happy about it. I just want to bask in the... Oh, take it all in. Yes. Take it all in, because you're fucking... Bullshit was right for once. So I matched with a beautiful woman on Hinge. Beautiful. Okay? Okay. She's cool. She's cute. She seems sane. Check, check, check. And, um, you know, obviously I'm leaving for France uh, on Thursday. Okay. So... I I you I told you I I just I I I've tried I just set up a date with this beautiful woman and you go oh god this is another Kristen Walker situation yep now for our sneaky freak listeners if you haven't heard of Kristen Walker <laughs> you should know her she was on the cruise she was on an Alaskan <laughs> the celebrity cruise in Alaska in two thousand two I think two thousand three maybe it was probably yeah because you we it was were, like twelve or thirteen we were on a family cruise. Yes, the whole extended Alaska family. celebrity cruise. Kristen Walker, if you're out there, I'm still looking for you. <laughs> we we you're in Missouri, you were, or at least at the time you were, <laughs> and um, we fell in love. Yeah, we, we exchanged about a few sentences, and then I that was even, all we could do. How did you even get her last name? I, I, Kristen Walker. I, she, maybe, maybe that's how she introduced herself to me. Or maybe her name is Kristen, and you made up the name Walker. No, I didn't make all up right. the name Walker. Somehow I got the last name Walker. And I know when we got back home, you were searching on AOL for her. I know AOL chat, not AOL chat. I was looking, I was looking through the, I think the profile directories, whatever the fuck AOL. Do you oh, look so back sad. on your inner cam and think to yourself, "What a pathetic little bitch"? No. <laughs> <laughs> I always said that. Because of what that guy just I hope said. You I hope you laugh so hard that you piss in your new white pants. That is not nice. Yeah. Well, you don't. That you think it's nice to call you so you look back at your inner child and <laughs> say, "What a pathetic little bitch." <laughs> no, I mean maybe that's the way you thought of yourself then, but you were just a normal little boy. Thank you. Then why would I think of myself as a pathetic little bitch? Because which which guy said that? Joseph. Joseph we don't said that. Bring up Joseph again. I mean, that's what got me Uptight. thinking. Little what, bitch. Fucking, what was there was another word inhibited uptight little bitch. Okay. Anyway. It's so the, anyway. It, it, I, so okay. So this is what I do. I, I find someone in an impossible situation to maintain a relationship with them. Like and I the fall James in love. Blunt song. Yeah. I had a bed. No, no. I You're saw beautiful. her on the subway train. You're beautiful. It's true. true. I saw your, your face, face in, a in a crowded place, place and I don't, don't know, know what to do because I'll, I'll never be with you. He's a little bitch boy, too. Little bitch, James. <laughs> James Blunt is James a little bitch. Big Blunt, but the fact that we can remember the words. Bitch. Jeez, I'm so happy we remembered the words of that song. Anyway, Kristen Walker was definitely one of the ones that got away. But I happen to do this. I romanticize. If I, something in my unconscious is like, okay, if it's an impossible situation, I'm going to romanticize the shit out of this person, fall head over heels. By the way, your uncle was very similar to that on cruise ships. He would find a girl. Cruise like, ships do this to you. Yeah. If you're single on a cruise ship, oh, God, game on. 
And then you, you can build up this whole fantasy about them. Right. I know a happy ending, happy ending story. They ended two up together. People, yeah, two of my friends. They ended up together. Look at that. And on crystal cruise ship, so. Well, a up, upscale. Upscale cruise ship. Okay. Yeah. Well, anyway, uh, that's exactly what just fucking happened with this date that I just went on before leaving for France. So it was a great date. You didn't get her last name? Great date. Uh, you know what? Honestly, she, uh, well, let's just say I I could tell something's a little different. My, you know, my body responds. Obviously, you know, I'm, you guys know I'm very sensitive. Sensitive. My body responds to any impulse, any stimulation. Okay. Wow. So sometimes when I meet someone, I, I have the desire to just immediately go fuck them. Sometimes I have the desire to be go away from them. Sometimes <laughs> to kiss them. I don't think you're that occasionally unusual in that sense. Most people, I don't think a lot of people know what part of their bodies are getting stimulated or what they want to do. I think it's very unconscious. You gotta okay. be aware of that shit. Man. Excuse you gotta be me. Aware. You gotta be aware. Okay, I'm aware. Okay, oh, yeah, you're it's aware. called pheromones. Something's going on there with the body and the context, and I had the desire just to hold this person. Okay, maybe that was the problem. Why? Is it work some... I gave her a hug. So she thought of it as platonic. No, it's not. It's not a platonic hold. What am I just holding someone platonically? All right. So what happened? Then I asked her out again, and uh, she's left me on red. <laughs> she's not responding. Wait, why didn't you go for the kiss? I went for the kiss. And we don't need to talk about the specific. I don't kiss and tell, mother. Oh, you just said hug, and I was gonna think that's kind of lame. I just had the desire. I had the desire to hold her, and I didn't say hug. I hold. Hold. There's a difference with the with the hug and the hold. What's the difference? I think the hold is more uh endearing. Yeah, there's something to hold to hold someone is different than just hug someone. You know? Uh, I'm not sure that there's that much of a difference, but okay. Where the body weight is kind of in your yours or something like you're encompassing them, or there's a difference here. Okay. It's very subtle nuance. Anyway, um, so, I, I don't think she's very uh, attracted to me. It's fine. It's fine. I'm leaving for France. It doesn't need to affect my sleep. We're fine. You know what I have to say to that? What? Hubs and dreared. <laughs> Mom, the fuck does that mean? It's a Yiddish for tell her to go take a shit. <laughs> you can't really you can't really translate that, but that's something my dad would say. Are you gonna tell her to go take a shit? You know what? Maybe it's your full of shit. Something like that. Okay. But I think anyone that doesn't realize the value in you, as we've just recognized from so many different people saying how wonderful you well, are. Some of them didn't recognize the value. But Except for Joseph. But Joseph uh, definitely didn't recognize the values. Others were not that complimentary. Most of them were very complimentary. Most of them. Some and of them. some lucky little French. L from Vegas was uh, seeing the value. Yes. Some S French fucking pousse. <laughs> Some French pousse will find you attractive. <laughs> and she will, like you have little things, like like you bought dark chocolate for future dates to have at your house. Yeah. And I noticed it was unopened. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, fucking, first of all, that is not, that dark chocolate was gifted to me oh. at a bachelor and, or, or at, a, at a wedding. Oh, and All I right. gave it to you kindly. You thought that was for, that I bought for a date. a date and then it didn't go. So I gave it to you instead. Yeah, because it didn't go, you didn't have a date. So you gave it to me. You're making up these pathetic stories. You, it is not pathetic. That was a pathetic you story. You had told me in the past that you had a little I did, dark I did chocolate. Buy, I did buy a dark chocolate expecting a date to come over. Never, never happened. And then we did ate it as a family. You ate the dark then, chocolate as a family? You ate some of that as well. That was yeah, on uh, dad's death day. It was a sad moment for everyone. Oh, Jesus. Okay. <laughs> She's... Oh, my God. Anyway, okay, that's what's going on in my life, falling in love and uh, <laughs> leaving and not and getting responses. Uh, what's going on with you, Mother? By the way, never say never. You never know what's going to happen with Yeah, that. who knows? I can come out of this this uh, this podcast recording and we'll get a whole huge text message. I'm so sorry. My phone has been destroyed. It was... It was, yeah, uh, she could have lost the phone. This happened no to me. No one ever loses the phone. Deez has lost his phone. Deez loses the phone, but this is not Deez. Not, not Deez. Yeah. Deez not only lost she the phone, he lose. broke the phone. Yeah, she didn't, it was delivered. 
let's move on. Move on. I was just, she's not even, who knows? Who knows if she, I met her once. She might not be the love of my life. It's very hard for me to see beyond the beauty. When I first meet someone, I'm completely enraptured. Oh, I'm glad you're enraptured. You should be enraptured. That's well, the kind of kind thing. Of if you don't have that. It's illogical. Because why? I, because I don't really know who this person is. I know, but it's good to have that kind of physical desire right from physical the get-go. Physical desire. Yeah, like the people that don't have it right from the get-go and they say, oh, I'll let it develop over time. I don't think it ever developed I'm over thinking time. she didn't feel the physical desire the way I did. So Why? that's an issue. When when I feel the physical desire for somewhat for for people, I mean, if this becomes a, a thing, and then they don't Do feel you the realize same way back. How many people there are in the world? Yeah, so one of them is going to have one of them is yeah. going to have that. The, but it's not, it's the, rare that I find physical like someone very physically desire desirable. Well, maybe you need to just keep moving to France. Yeah, keep keep looking. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's what's going on in my life. Also, by the way, I'll caveat all this. By saying, you know, moving away is a trans is a difficult transition, and I might be channeling all of my energy into this girl because it's a distraction from the stress of actually packing up. How much energy up. are you putting into this girl? Well, there's a lot of neuroses going on around, a lot of anxiety and neuroses going on. Why? What are you talking about? I, I, I'm thinking about this girl. What kind of neuroses are? You? I'm 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 looking at my phone, seeing if she's texting. Oh, that type just, of shit. You're just you're making yourself nuts. Yeah. Well, look at, look at this. It sounds. I, I'm glad that this is the last episode that we do before the hiatus, so that any future prospect that's listening <laughs> can hear how fucking lonely and desperate I am. I think if anything, all these women are like, I would love to go out with Cam because I will. I'll be by my phone looking. Yes, and you'll non-stop. be and you'll be no. just hot to trot for her. No. You know, give a good hug and set or a hold instead a, of a hug. Uh, yeah. There's a lot of things that could happen. All right. We'll move on. Thank you for giving Dee's a ton of sex toys. <laughs> You're welcome. Has I he mean, been using them? I don't know. He had a bag full of them. Because I was gifted a bunch of male sex toys. You're not going to use that. I don't want that. What do you mean? You're so not I'm gonna giving use him it? Tanga eggs to fuck. I'm yeah, giving what, him prostate massagers. And, getting... your, and your brother in law is saying, oh, I like those. I'll take those. And one time you saw only. What's going on over there? Well, they're expensive little eggs. What are these eggs? These tanga eggs. You could fuck the fuckable eggs. Well, why does looks like you, why you does get a six, need a an egg? Of six eggs. Do you fuck an egg. Okay. Ever, well, I gave one to my my brother, my brother in law, and D's. Did your brother appreciate and, and it too? Two of my best friends. Everyone, uh, everyone's like, getting an egg. What did you give? A dozen eggs. I had six eggs. I gave them all away. You had a half a dozen I kept eggs. One egg for myself. Did you try it? No. I'm curious. As to who makes this? Tanga. Tanga. A big Japanese company. They make good eggs. <laughs> okay, is that uh, is that all you got? That's all I got. I just you know just. All right, keep me updated on how Dee's likes his sex toys that I gave him. I think we're at the time for hit on or shit on. Is it time for hit, hit on, on or, or shit, shit on. on? Hit on or shit on. If this we weren't already doing this, is the segment of the show where we take your comments and determine if they're a hit on or a shit on. I I couldn't imagine what a, a shit on could sound like. Someone commented. It, it was involving you. Oh, here we go. <laughs> talking about how you like spray cum all over the place. <laughs> where, where was I talking about spraying cum all over the place? In one of the uh, TikTok clips. They, Dale made a TikTok clip about me spraying, spraying cum? Yeah. You spoke Great. about that it smelled. Oh, the smell is different. I saw that one. Well, this, this, this commenter said, like Uno, if it smells, you have an infection. <laughs> Just to let you all know, that's disgusting and you all need help. <laughs> Thank you, doctor. You all need help. Thank you. All right. What like what does like Uno mean? I I don't know. It smells like you have I don't have an infection. Trust me. <laughs> I I got I got all sorts of tests recently. Oh no. Fecal tests. Did everything come out okay? STI tests. I got all the t- yeah. Everything's looking good. good down there. I'm ready for the French pousse. Yeah, French. Okay. What what is this one? I don't know if I'm right, but Cam gives me a huge ENFJ vibe. Extroverted, intuitive, feeling, judging. <laughs> what does I think that... that's actually probably accurate. She thinks you're extroverted, intuitive, feeling, and judging. Yeah. I'll take it. I think you're that's extroverted. A, you think that's a hit on intuitive? I yeah. I'll take feeling, I think that, definitely. That, that, well, judging, not so nice. But 
I don't accurate. think you're that judging. I think th that one is a tricky one. I forget what the alternative to judging is. Uh, not judging? No. Not being judgmental? No. What? I think it's like, uh, I don't know. I don't. I forget exactly what it is. All right. So we're saying that that is a hit on. Hit on. Thank you. Was the, like, who uh, knows if it smells you have an infection. That was a shit on. That's definitely shit on. And then I see this one. Oh, God. Someone commented, it looks like she had a stroke. Not a fun comment. Now, that set me reeling. I'm oh. like, oh, my God, what if I had a stroke? You would have known if you had a stroke. How do you? Maybe I had a mild stroke. You don't know if you've had a stroke? I don't know. I, you apparently. didn't have a stroke. Okay, well, that, that Fuck was... Fuck that guy. That's a shit on. Shit on. Why would someone share that? She looks like she had a stroke? I'm telling you, I don't what give are, a rat's ass. Why, what are these people, what are they doing with their lives? They're judging. They're judging. They're judging. They're judging. They're literally judging. And by the way, this person, this ENFJ is judging, by the way. Why are they? Why are they giving me my fucking Myers-Briggs over here? Is that the Myers-Briggs yeah. personality test? Yeah. Oh, I didn't even know. Yeah. <laughs> what did you think that was? I had no idea. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, thank you for that hit on her shit on mother. I think it's time for Mom's News. Mom's News. Mom's, Mom's news. news. Mom's News is a segment of the show where my mother shares earth-shattering, groundbreaking, need-to-know info. Mother, what do we got? This is very applicable. Oh, boy. I'm sure it is. I found that it was there was an article about this TikToker who does a, a little, little subject line of 50 first dates. Her name is Hannah Zazowski. She's an Aussie who's dating in London, and I started going deep diving down her TikTok. And she's talking about date one, I did this, date two, I did this. And she's in real time going through a lot of these dates that she's, you know, really? broken up with. Not just broken up? Why did she go? Why hooking, she, hooking, hooking up. Hooking up with. She'll talk about if she hooked up or not hooked up or what she did. And I was thinking to myself, hmm, London is hmm, not too far away from France. I'm going, I'm going to Edinburgh. Well, when you go to London, you got to hook her up and say, why? I'll be one of those 50 first dates. What, what's going on? Why, why, why? I think that's a it's a clever little niche. Maybe you should do it in France. You think she's the only person who's going on dates and hooking up over there? She's describing. The why is she documenting? It's it, it, it's engaging. Yeah. Well, maybe. And I'm thinking maybe you should do something you're like using, this. You're using me like bait to try to get some viewership on our podcast. That's what's happening right now. I mean, we can do a whole little subs category. No. Yeah. Cam can do 50 first dates in France. No. 50 first pussies in France. <laughs> What's with you in the pussy? Pussy. Voulez-vous pussy avec moi? Oh, my God. Anyway, thank you for that, that uh, recommendation. I, I, I think <clears throat> we should even... Have you reached out to her? No. No. Thank no. God. I would not reach out to her without your permission, of course. Thank God. But I was actually thinking that you might want to do something like this. Mom. There's, it's a little different for a guy to be recording his sexual adventures. Why? Then why? Yeah. Women don't like to hear that shit. I would. Yeah, you're my mother. <laughs> a woman does not want to see that I'm about to go and talk about this afterwards. You, you've seen it on the podcast. It created some serious issues. I had to stop doing that. No, remember, we don't give a rat's ass. No, I do give a rat's ass. All right. I, when it comes to that, when it comes to talking about others. So no, what yeah. if you chronicle these things? Reactions to, they're like reaction videos to the dates. What if you chronicle them and post them way after you get back? Mom, I'm not doing that. Okay. Why does everything need to be posted? Oh, content, baby. Thank you for Mom's News. Mom's News. Mom's, mom's news. news. And now, it's the time of the show where you guys get to listen to a very not uptight, uh, not inhibited uh, Wise sage of a monk. It's Cam's Uppers. Cam's Uppers, uppers is the place to be. Fun living is a life for me. Cam's Uppers is the segment of the show where I share something near and dear to my heart, something that my mother typically finds electrifying. Is that sarcasm? No. Yes, it is. No. Or fun. Is that another sarcastic thing? No. Or lovely. Okay, you're bullshitting me today. You're trying to end on good terms. Yes. Is that going to happen? Yes, I am. And I see you trying to sweeten it up. I'm trying to sweeten the pot. Okay, well, then you're going to love this, Mother, because I'm reading today 
from Ecclesiastes. What? Yeah, the Bible. You know what, Cam? <laughs> what? I go to a hairstylist. Okay. And this hairstylist is a born and grown Christian. Okay. And he talks my ear off about Christianity yeah. for three hours straight while he's doing my hair. He does not wait for me to even respond. Okay. I don't want Cam's uppers turning into this either. It's turned into it, baby. I want to share something because I think there's something beautifully written here that I thought we could share. Why are you reading the Bible just out of curiosity? I like this quote. Oh. Also, I could read the Bible. Everyone could enjoy some good wisdom in there. I didn't know that you were into Bible readings. Yeah, sometimes. Okay. Okay. This is, um, and you probably already know this, actually. Ecclesiastes 3. It's called A Time for Everything. Do you know this? Turn, turn, there no. is a season, turn, no, turn, Mom. and it? a time for every person. No, this is the circle game? No. What is it? Turn, 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 the song, I think it's the Mamas and the Papas or something oh, from okay. the 60s. Okay. <clears throat> With every season, turn, turn, turn. Mom, you're not derailing. You're not, I see what you're going on. I see what's <laughs> happening right now. You, you want to stop me from reading, okay. but I'm, I'm going. There is a time for everything and a season for every activity under the heavens. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to be born, a time to die, a time to love. To plant and a time to uproot. Is this a, is this a, uh, a song? Yeah. Really? Yeah. So, so you like it in that form? I like it in the, in the mamas and the I'm papas. Gonna, I'm going to keep reading, okay? okay? A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to kill. Mom. Uh, okay, sorry. A time to tear down and a time to build. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to scatter stones and a time to gather them. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing or, or holding in this situation. Oh. A time to search and a time to give up. A time to keep and a time to throw away. A time to tear and a time to mend. A time to be silent. Mime. And a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate. A time to war and a time for peace. And it goes on and on. A time for war. You, is this all in the song? The whole song. Really? Yes. Wow. Okay. Just put it on right now. I'm not putting it on. We're gonna, the whole podcast will go down. No, just, we, just put it on. No, just... you can put it on. Mom, we're gonna, it's, it's copyright material. I we can't use any ads if we you start you, oh, playing it. Oh, all right. You guys, go check it out. There's a song. I believe it's the Mamas and the Papas or one of those 60s artists. Why is this the takeaway from my reading? Okay. I love that reading. Thank you. The, the reason I bring this up... They usually read it at funerals. <laughs> okay? It's not usually read in a comedy podcast. <laughs> <laughs> it's a beautiful quote. It or yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's a quote. It's, 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 a, it's a writing. It's, it's a poem. A poem. I, I, and I think there is something very um, I'm grateful for, even during this time of transition being uncomfortable for me. It's very uh, I, I'm grateful that every I have faith that everything comes in time in the, at the right time. You know. Yes. And so, you know, we will see how, how this hiatus tra uh, transpires. We might come back refreshed. We might. Keep going. We don't. We we have to. We we will see where this goes. Yeah, you have a one way ticket. I have a one way ticket to France right now. <laughs> yeah, and so yeah, there, we'll we'll feel what the time is is telling us. Well, but I for one will miss you. I will miss you as well, and I will miss all of you sneaky freaks. Yeah, you sneaky freaks. Hopefully, we'll be able to connect at some point, but we're not. We don't have anything on on tap. Until. Unless Joseph and I want to come out to France and record out there. Maybe you can start sex talk with my mom with Joseph instead of me. He's not doing he's, it. He's saying negative. Um, but I, I do want to thank everyone who has made this show possible for the past almost eight years. Over 500 episodes. Incredible. Unbelievable. We could not have done it with you sneaky freaks, especially people that have been saying they've been listening from episode one. It's incredible. Yeah. It's it's unbelievable that you stuck with us. You've allowed us the ability to have these conversations. You pushed us to to improve our show, to to improve ourselves. You've made us better people. I could cry right now. It's true. Yeah, yeah my my life has changed dramatically for the better because of this podcast, and and we would not have been doing this without you guys. Yeah, this podcast is what we identify as. Like we go into a hot tub and. 
Mexico. And the next thing you know, we're talking about sex talk with my mom. Yeah. It's what I, I talk about on a date. They're like, what do you spend your time doing? <laughs> well, I talk about sex with my mom. D- don't, don't leave. Don't leave? Yes. They're leaving? Yes. But yeah, I, I want to thank all of you guys, the people who've texted in. How about our Patreon members? And, the, and especially the Patreon members. P-A-T-R-E-O-N. I mean, it gives me chills to think about you guys. Patreon.com slash sex talk with my mom. They're such sweethearts and you've supported us financially and emotionally. And on Discord too. Yeah. And, and you've created an amazing community. You you guys are, you are the lifeblood of this podcast. Yep. So we thank you. We and, love you. And we missed you already. We already miss you. But we do we do have a uh, sneaky freak patron party tomorrow. <laughs> so yeah, we'll, we'll be in touch. It, this is not the end. The, maybe Sex Talk with Mom will come back as a TV show. Maybe it'll come back as a podcast in a different form. We don't know what this is going to be. We don't know. We're just going to go with the flow. We're going with the flow. And we ask that you bear with us and you come with us. Wherever we go. On our journey. We'll, we'll st- I hopefully still be posting some content on social media and TikTok and mm-hmm. Instagram. And whatever we can do to keep you by our side. Yeah. We love you guys. We do. I love you too. I love you. I love Joseph too. We love you, Joseph. And Dale. And Dale too. A huge shout out to Dale for cutting this every week, every fucking every week. week. And for getting his help from Kevin. Yeah. Shout out to Kev. And let me tell you about the birds and the bees and the flowers and the trees and having fun in Gay Perry. Oh, did you just... Did I just rhyme? Did I just say Gay Perry? <laughs> trees and Perry. It works. It works. All you're, right. you're about to criticize me. No, it does work. You feel I... bad. It's the last time I, and I no, no, actually you, rhymed. For you the... actually did it. You did. I did. Yeah, you're ending at least for this, this I'm ending season, on a high I, note. You're ending this season on a bang. We'll say that. We love you guys. Love you. Bye. Bye. You are listening to a Pleasure Podcast. For more from our sex podcast collective, visit pleasurepodcasts.com.